I love this engine. Well, guys, let's get started. Um, most of you all watching my videos, you, you understand what we're going to get into here. You got an engine that's been sitting for an undetermined amount of time. We're going to have a lot of rust, uh, probably some fuel issues, probably spark issues. Or maybe we'll put gas in it, it'll take right off. We'll find out. But first things first, we got a little concoction here of uh, homemade penetrating oil. It's PB Blaster and oil, basically. And oil just gives the blaster a little more viscosity, gets it to stick to things a little better. And uh, y'all know PB Blaster does. So I'm going to go ahead and just start pretty much spraying everything that I, everything's going to need to move or come off, really. Um, in anticipation of having to remove things. When I get the spark plug out, I'm going to load the cylinder up on compression stroke and just generally try to get everything freed up and moving as good as I can. From there, we're going to change the oil and uh, take a look and see what we got as far as spark and things like that. Well, at any rate, we'll see uh, what it's got in here for oil. Mm, looks like it really doesn't look all that bad. Whew, it's old though. And burnt. I was expecting it to be a little more chunky, but that's a good thing. Well, guys, fast forward a couple of days. Uh, just got home from work. I've been working a lot of overtime as usual. Got just a couple minutes here. I figured I'd come out real quick and uh, just spin this over. Basically, I'm just going to blow all the transmission fluid out of the cylinder and check for spark while we're at it. Here's hoping. No spark. I uh, don't really have any more time this evening, don't have no time to get into this thing. But uh, you can rest assured that we'll get into it. Ready to pull the flywheel off. As you can see, there is one missing fin, but uh, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. What we got here? It was stuck on there pretty good, I know that much. They usually don't require that much effort. Oh. It is one heavy sucker. Someone's been in here playing around. There's all kind of electrical tape going on. On the low tension wire. Condenser wire's not even attached. Points are just filled with stuff. So, got a little cleaning to do. But we'll be in good shape. I bet you she'll fire. Alright, so I went ahead and just pulled the mag right off. This is kind of, it's easier to work on a bench. You can see. The uh, wire for the condenser is like only held on by about two strands, maybe three. The low tension wire is broken right here, and uh, I don't know, it's going to be tough because it's real loose down here at the coil too. I'm really hoping I can save this, these are kind of hard to come by. I'm pretty pricey when I do, but it, worst case scenario, if this doesn't work, I can always run it on a total loss system just to see if it'll run, uh, you know, just run off the points and uh, a 12 volt coil. But I'm going to go ahead and get the points cleaned up, this wire fixed, I'm going to cut this right off, I'm going to cut it out from here, down, replace that wire. Um, the high tension wire looks good, it's a little loose, but it looks good. The coil itself looks alright, a little bit of rip there in the tape, but as far as the rest of the body of the coil goes, it looks fine. So, the rest of the high tension wire looks good, all the way to the tip, the tip's a little bit rusted, but I can deal with that. So, here we go, let's see how, see how this uh, pans out. So now we should at least be able to see if we got a spark. I'm really hoping we do. This coil's gonna go bad, obviously. Let's see here. The camera can't see it. But I can. Oh, nice. Alrighty guys, moment of truth. I got a channel lock, but we're gonna open the fuel up here. Maybe. Good grief. See it pouring in. And look at that. Awesome. Definitely going to be expected. Okay. We'll go for take two. I cut a gasket out of cork and uh, not dripping here at all. So there's step one of any fuel line issues. Let's go to step two. It's gas. Excellent. But, guys, we are ready for a test start. Look at our drip. Drip, drip. Well guys, here we go. Uh, it's trial by fire. All or nothing. 
carburetor's leaking a little bit, but I just, I'd like to hear this thing fire. I really would. So, we'll see what it'll do. Choke on. Throttle's loose. We got spark. Got no way to shut her down if she takes off, but here's hoping. <laughs> Doesn't start. Ha! Oh, it will, though. It'll definitely start. Damn thing pulls like a mule, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Guys, not a bad runner. Got some little quirks. A uh, little oil leak there at the tap it cover plate. No mouse goodies burning off. And uh, obviously, I stuck float, so I'll get that shut off real quick. Oh, guys, I am just burning up out here. I've learned two things. My first break is easy. I've learned two things about these engines. First of all, when they don't want to start, they'll separate the men from the boys real quick. Um, pulling, on, pulling on this thing? <laughs> Forget it. Second of all, when they're hot and they stall, and they don't want to start, and they decide to kick back, you'll be pretty sure you just look at your shoulder. Definitely a snotty little machine, or snotty little engine. Um, Got to figure out something with the exhaust. I'm wearing these. The threads are all there, but they're all packed full of rust and crap. So I gotta, I can maybe get a cutoff wheel and a Dremel in there and uh, try to cut those threads. I don't have a what, I think it's one inch uh, pipe cutter, pipe threader, so. Thread chase, or whatever you want to call it. Guys, it's today for you. I'm going to push this back in the shop and I'm going to go sit down and cool down a little bit because I am just burning up. As always, I do appreciate y'all checking out the videos and watching the channel. Uh, you'll definitely be seeing some more of this. Got some other crap going on. You know how it goes. Thanks again, guys.